Okay, today we'll be looking at the ProGuard D2 oil filter, number 44LF016. And I got this on eBay for $14.11 and with free shipping. But you can get this, if you're going to buy a bunch of them, you can get this at southerncarparts.com for $12.52. So let's get started. It looks like it's have a you got a good nice type. You type. Get your hammer here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, let's start with the box. It says 3 8 ratchet socket, heavy duty canister, heavy duty leaf spring, heavy duty gasket, absolute engine protection, minimum flow restriction, guaranteed performance. There's a lot of heavy duties there. Alright, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Some instructions. And this AFE on here stands for Advanced Flow Engineering. They don't have... Uh, a made in. They don't. I don't know who makes this filter. Doesn't say it on the box. Doesn't say it on the filter itself. Doesn't say it on the website. But they got this plastic over it. Get this off. Okay. You got an O-ring here. Looks like a nitro rubber O-ring. It's on there pretty good. And I see eight inlet holes, bypass valve down there, metal core with holes, and a nice amount of threads there too. Feels like a kind of a heavy, heavy filter for its size. You know, actually, a nice feature that it has is this thing here. So you can, uh, you know, take it up on and off real easy. Well, actually, on it doesn't matter, but taking it off is a lot easier with this. Actually, they should all have that. Yeah, they should all have that feature right there. Oh, and we tested. You know, this date, I don't think this is right. I don't think this is a date. This is 9, 10, 13, but... I can't believe it's that old. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe eBay's selling some really old stuff. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's open this baby up. See what she looks like inside. Okay, let's start with her weight. She weighs 9.2 ounces. And what's this tell you? Yeah, coil spring, but on the box it says leaf spring. Hmm. I don't know too much about this oil filter. I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find any specs online. So, what you see is what you get. But, uh, let's check out this base plate. It weighs 3.3 ounces. And it's a nice base plate. It's got a nice amount of grooves here. Yeah, it's nice. Nice oil flow with all these holes. That's nice. Now this, I think, I believe this is a nitro rubber. Because it, it doesn't have the spring to it. So yeah, nitro rubber. But it looks like it covers pretty good. Yeah, it covers nicely. And it stays on there pretty good, see? Fits on there nice and snug. So that's okay. Filter media. I counted 56 pleats. Crimp metal seam. Bypass valve down here. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Metal end caps. You can see the holes in the inner core. It feels... 
I, I would say this is some kind of synthetic blend media. That's what it feels like to me. You know, and it's probably got a micron rating of, uh, I'm going to just throw some numbers. I'm going to guess it's probably like 99% at 30 microns. Who knows? Well, let's get some measurements. So 1.9 inches wide, 99 inches wide. 2.4 inches that way. And 2.37 inches that way. And what's the filter media way? 2.1 ounces. Yeah, it's fairly light. The can wet. The can is heavy. Well, just a coil spring. These are nice. The can. This can was hard to open up. It's a thick can. I'll get the measurements in a second, but it weighs 3.4 ounces. And let's see, let's put this at uh, zero, put it at millimeters. Zero it off. Yeah, 0. 0.7. It's pretty thick. A lot thicker than most. And this is all printed on. There's no stickers. But yeah, this is a nice feature. I really like this feature. They should all have this. I mean, sometimes it'd make it a lot easier to get off. So, uh, I say we cut this baby open, stretch her out, see how long she is, and go from there. Be right back. Okay, here she is all stretched out, and she's 52 inches long. Maybe 52 and a quarter, but 52 close enough. Here she is zoomed out. Okay, and here she is at the seam. And the seam managed to stay intact. It's nicely crimped. Look at this. You can see the crimp marks. It's really nice. I see a lot of them that are barely crimped. They, sometimes they fall off, but this, this one was on here good. Like I said, this filter media feels like a synthetic blend to me. I wish I had filtration numbers for it. Um, sorry, I couldn't find anything. If anybody finds anything, knows anything about it, please post it down below. Let's look at the rest of the filter. And we'll look at the good and the bad. The good, I like the inner core, I like all those holes. It's nice, should have a nice oil flow. The can, the canister, geez, this is uh, super thick. I mean, this, this is pretty thick, folks. This is really thick. Probably one of the thickest cans I've opened up, if not the thickest. And this, it's, well, it's probably got to be thick when you put one of these on it so it can, so it doesn't just crunch up on you, you know? Yeah, this is a good feature, though. This is nice. Coil spring, this is nice. Actually, it's not a bad filter, except for I wish I had some filtration numbers. This is the only bad part, is the nitrile anti-drain back valve. But, you know, this this would be okay, too. You know, as long as you don't go, you know, you do uh, shorter OCIs. But, um, base plate's nice. Yeah, this, this is a, a nice filter. Is it now, is it a $12.50 filter? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. There's better filters out there. You know, if I had some filtration numbers, I could, I mean, if it filters out to 20 microns, then I would say, yeah, it's a good filter, but I don't have the numbers. What do you guys think? Hey, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care.